Okay, so warm-ups used to be pretty controversial back in the old karate days where it was blood and guts. Essentially, warm-ups were an hour, and it was basically a calisthenic class that the goal was to murder people. Um, my instructor told me that basically um, starting in the 90s, they couldn't get away with that anymore because no one would show up because the blood and guts days were over, and they had a pretty high range of diversity in their classes, so they just couldn't maintain that mentality so what they changed it to was the goal of warm-ups was to change the person's mindset increase their mobility and reset their attitude so mindset was whenever they walked in they're thinking about a hundred different things or they're thinking they have some expectation or whatnot that's going on the goal is to change their mindset from whatever they were when they walked in the door and get them into the mindset that I'm at class, I'm here to have fun, I'm here to learn. Increasing mobility was simply doing sports specific exercises that increase joint mobility without inducing a high level of fatigue, such as we jog, we do uh, mobility like rolling the neck, rolling the shoulders, the hips, stretching the knees, doing some um, not calisthenics, uh, isometrics, and this all helps increase mobility and get the muscles activated for what they're going to be doing. And the biggest thing is to reset attitude. Sometimes when people walk in, they may not have a lot on their mind, but they're just in a bad mood. And the idea of the warm-up is that it's encouraging and fun and dynamic, and it helps just reset that, like, oh, I'm at class, I'm not at the office, I'm not dealing with the crap that I was dealing with whenever I wasn't here. That being said, whenever we're doing exercises, we do need to make sure that they're doable by everyone with the ability to increase in difficulty as needed. So if we're doing push-ups and people can't do more than three push-ups, then we just do three push-ups. And we keep it where if everyone is doing well, we might go, okay, we're gonna do five push-ups. If you can only do three push-ups, do three push-ups well, don't struggle through the other ones. If we're doing a hold, like a plank, and I notice that you know, half the class is starting to like wobble or drop and have to reset, it's getting too difficult, we need to stop at that point. If I notice 90% of the class is doing well and we have one or two outliers, probably keep going for a little bit, but don't, don't wait for that one person to completely be giving up because we need to make sure that everyone comes through it together because a person who is exhausted mentally or physically by the warm-up will do bad throughout the rest of the class because we have set the dynamic for them for the rest of the class because if they're physically exhausted they're going to be dangerous to themselves and others and increase chances of, of injury if mentally they're exhausted they will take in no data and they will definitely be a hamper to other people's training at that point so it needs to be something that get somebody mentally and physically aroused without exhausting because if they're exhausted they're not going to do well in class and if they don't do well in class they may not want to come back or they may make someone else not want to come back because either they were crap to train with or they were dangerous and we don't want either one of those because safety is key so warm-ups change mindset increase increase mobility reset attitudes keep it simple with the ability to increase Great thing about like push-ups or setups was back in the day is we could increase the number as people got better. Good thing about isometrics is that there's no number, you're just holding a position. So if you see a bunch of people struggling, you can always just move on to the next part. All right.